Okay, we've got our solar cells uh, from solarcells101.com and we're going to do a little bit of tabbing. What I do is I lay two cells besides each other and uh, I've got one upside down and then one right side up and I take a piece of tabbing wire and uh, stretch it across to see how long I need it uh, like uh, this let's see I'll set this camera down hopefully you can see you just grab your tab and wire and straighten it by just pulling on it and squeezing it and you can take a pair of wire dikes you can get these at Radio Shack and uh, And you just cut it off the right way. Okay. So I want it to be where it stretches from that little dot right there. And then you have a little space in between your cells because your cells are going to have spaces in between. About a eighth or sixteenth of an inch. Just got to have some space. And then it ends right over here. At the end of this, this uh, little white line right here. Just before the end of the cell. You don't want it to run off the end of the cell. I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway, after you get your... your you, you just go ahead and cut several of those. And uh, I'm going to show you how to tab one. You want to tab the front side because they're not going to be able to work on the front side after we glue these down to our glass. The first thing I like to do is to scrape this white stuff off of here. Your, um, uh, some people say that you can leave it on there and it will stick. But you know what, from my experience, it does not stick with this white stuff on here. So I scrape this off. Then have to all come off. Just to get the solder started to stick in some places there. Can scrape the whole length of this white stuff. I don't like it. Someone said it was a protective coating. I guess that's what it is. It it, it needs to be scraped though. And it's probably not going to stick. This cleans it when you scrape it. Then, you just put some tab and uh, some flux on the spot where the tab and wire goes. Like that. And then, get you a wet paper towel and clean your solder and iron off like that and get all the goo off of it and then get your solder I buy my solder Radio Shack and this is a 623662 rosin core solder it says silver bearing and I think it's probably the best solder because it has silver in it and then I like to put lots of solder on my iron and then uh, line this tab and wire up at the very end of the cell there like that and touch it on the very end until it's stuck I think it's stuck now and then uh, come over about the middle and try to stick it down a little bit then work your way back to the end 
where you start it and get off of it. Let it kind of cool off for a second. And then go back to the middle where you start it and then work your way back out towards the end like this. Should be stuck. And it should look like that when you get done. Alright. Also, I have a 50 watt Hanko soldering iron and a soldering iron control so I can control my heat. You could just buy a 30 watt and you probably wouldn't need to buy a soldering iron control. I think that'd be just the perfect size, 30 watt. But I have a 50 watt, so I have mine turned down. So it's on about four or five on the dial there. Anyway, I hope this is a good take. Let's end the part two. Thanks for watching.